Are you ready? Are you ready? All right, so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, and on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. All right, here we go. First round is underway. No denying the big reach advantage for him tonight. We'll see if he can get that jab going up. Look for him to circle on the outside. Use that long jab to keep his distance and only engage on his terms. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Just out of range with the straight left hook. What a punch. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. Just over three minutes to go now. Beautifully timed and placed kick there by Wonderboy Thompson. Oh, he lands a massive kick here. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And they set him. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Head kick lands. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, nice jab. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Oh, and he tags him with the straight hand there. Beautifully done by Thompson. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Oh, and there is another knee. He throws that knee almost as if it's a punch. He's landed several in this round, and now you can see some of the damage really starting to show on his opponent. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for one of the best to ever do it, Stephen Wonderboy Thompson. Overhand attempt, now it's blocked by Thompson. There's no tell on that leg kick. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range, though, with it. Wonderboy gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. Dorino and try to further expose what surfaced tonight as an obvious win. Hip over when he throws that kick. What a round. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose. From. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, here we go with our next round, and how about the striking display in that previous round? He found a lot of openings upstairs, and when we sat down with him on Thursday, he said this dude doesn't move his head, and largely that's how it's going. That's exactly how he thought it would be, and it's exactly what he's seeing early in the fight. Opponent's not moving his head, and he's more than happy to connect over and over with those one-two. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage, and you saw it right there with that punch. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Dorino gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Oh, big knee. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. And they separate. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice punch there by Burns. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Oh, nice slip there. Great head movement overall by this guy defensively. Tonight. He does a great job of moving his head side to side, really mixing up the motion at which he moves. 
Well, these numbers are unofficial, but they are strong. 43 total strikes have now landed for Stephen Thompson. Well, misses on 60% of the strikes, landing with just 40% accuracy against Stephen Thompson. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, knee to the head. He's back to the push position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try and chase down that pitch. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to One finish his fight. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. All right, north-south position here. We'll see if the crowd can be mature about this, DC. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. 30 seconds to go. Oh, he's hurt. He's hurt away. Back. 15 seconds to go. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. He got his... Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round. Saved by the bell. So back to the stool. Mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. Let your hands go. All right, so a big knockdown for him courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good, not good. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Over the top. This fight's going to be over, DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He did stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. And they separate. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Looking to land the right hand, he misses. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, and there's a takedown attempt there, DC. I'm no analyst, but that one was pretty telegraphed, not his best effort. Yes, he may as well have sent a text message to his opponent saying, I'm going to shoot the moment the fight starts. Of course, he got defended. Set up your attack, young man. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Got a single collar tie. Strike landed there by the bottom by Wonderboy Thompson. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. Man, isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat? He's unbelievable how fluid he is his motions on the mat. Burns gets back up, no surprise there. Beautiful strike. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them all. Oh, right that left hand. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! 
Nice defense there. Huge block. Knee to the body. Trying to do game moves. Oh, what a shot to the body. His opponent has yet. He's trying to keep it to poker face, but he's hurt very, very bad. In the tie clinch. Oh, look at that. Huge start. strike right like there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. The official decision is in. It resides with the venerable Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' score cards for a decision. The judges score the contest 30-27, 9-28, and 30-27. Playing the winner by unanimous decision, Gilbert Durango. All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner.